going on, everyone? That right there is Batapult, and this is Cave of the Winds in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And we drove eight hours just to do that. No, we're kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was it was fun. It was it's, fun. A, it's a little uh, zip line. It's one of those uh, like, stand like check things. Yeah, you know, I like the Soaring Eagle zip line more than I like the one at Glenwood. Yeah, I think this one gives a much more scenic view. It is good, but uh, let's talk about why we were here. Okay, so we're um, really here for Pterodactyl. <laughs> Pterodactyl. It is one of the craziest rides any of us have ever ridden. I mean, exactly. we've done tons of roller coasters. They don't freak us out. This did. I'm gonna put that up there as my number two craziest thing, craziest ride ever. Yeah, it's it's a, it's up there. And your number one, we're gonna be at in a few days. Yeah, number uh, one the is giant, still canyon the swing, giant canyon swing, Glenwood. which I have not done because it was close last time we were there. Yeah, I know. But so it'll be over next time. So, anyways, uh, this is a cool little place because it is really high up, uh, and so you got all this mountain range back here. We're gonna take you around, show you a little bit. The place is not very big, so this won't take you very long. But um, this is kind of your main entrance area, so you get your tickets over there. And pterodactyl swings you out over into a canyon that's back here, and you actually have to reserve a ticket in order to do it. Dude, the slide is closed. That's a shame. Okay, so they have this nice little open area. And they also have lots of caves. So, okay, here's where you can get your food. This is the entrance to the cave tour over here that we did earlier, that was awesome. Um, really cool, there's a nice overlook over here, but you're also gonna get a good overlook right around here. So, you can see how amazing this is. We are told that from top to bottom, it is 400 feet, and then Pterodactyl has a 128 foot tall drop, I believe. Um, but I love how and everywhere you look, the view is fantastic. So, so put that in perspective in, in coaster terms here. In coaster terms. So if you were to fill the Kinda Ka at the very bottom, we'd be looking at the very Yeah, top yeah, that's right the top hat right the there. Right. <laughs> it's insane. So uh, this is where you swing out. So that's pterodactyl right there. It is uh, crazy. Uh, so we're, we're going to show you uh, where, uh, we're going to take you a little closer. They have this gift shop that's kind of the centerpiece of the park. Um, lots of cool stuff. Here's the entrance. You do have to sign a waiver to do it. And so we'll come over here. So that is the exit to the cave tour. It's about a 45 minute to an hour long cave tour. It was good. It was cool. Yeah, it was very cool. Uh, it talked, because that's whole, how this whole place got started. It was uh, coves of caves, hence the name, Cave of the Winds. And this is the entrance to Pterodactyl. Well, I'm gonna make it short. It is awesome. And uh, by now, our on-ride video has been posted, so go watch that. It is hilarious. Our reactions are priceless. Um, it was terrifying. It was freaky. But uh, yeah, that was the main reason for coming here, and it was totally worth it. It was cool. Yeah, uh, and we're going to head over to Alich Gardens later today to go check out Kaleida Escape. Uh, and... But uh, as for Cave of the Winds, that's pretty much the park. Uh, it's, it's very small, but it's cool. I mean, I like it. It's very unique. And that's what I really like about some of these places. It's the same like with Glenwood Caverns. It's such a cool place, even though it is not the biggest. Yeah, it's so unique. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to just sitting out here and just checking out the view. I mean, we already did that for a while just because it's, it's crazy. Uh, how far back everything goes, the mountains. It's amazing. Um, they, there's a, actually a hiking trail down there. You can see that. So that's a hiking trail. So you can actually hike down there and then see pterodactyl swinging out like right above you. As opposed to now we're like, we're watching pterodactyl uh, swing out down below. So you could be on the other end. But uh, as you can see, in order to get there, you have to walk all the way down here. And we don't, we don't know how to get there. And also that sounds like it takes a lot of work. So we're not going to do that. But <laughs> hashtag lazy. <laughs> hashtag lazy. Um, so we got here at 11 and it's probably now uh, one, two o'clock, I'd say. Um, so it's been, it's been a nice little place. We're about uh, wrapping up, ready to get going. But uh, Thoughts on Cave of the Winds. I like this place. It's super cool. Uh, if you're in the area, absolutely it's worth it for pterodactyl. I mean, you know, I've, I've ridden 600 coasters. This thing freaked me out, man. <laughs> it messed me up. That ride is is terrifying. Um, well done, Stan. Yes, well done, Stan. Stan it's, it is, now I understand why it's his prized uh, creation. So uh, I, I definitely recommend this place. Um, I think I like uh, Glenwood Caverns a bit more. but um, I think if I had to take and just overall experience and stuff to do Glenwood Caverns a little bit. Better. Glenwood Caverns has a bit more to do. Um, but Cave of the Winds is still super cool. I'm I definitely I like I this place. I wouldn't trade one for the other. I mean, I yes. Would, I would definitely do both. Yes, yeah. Um, 
So uh, that's going to do it for this vlog here from Cave of the Winds. And be sure to stay tuned for the next one, which will be from Elitch Gardens. And then we will have one from Glenwood Caverns I'll in a few days. Yes, yeah, we're going to go around Signwood or <laughs> Elitch Gardens. Yeah, it was closed last time we were there. So, anyways, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.